Ride in style tonight, boys. Peep that right there. Just hit 2,700 miles. What's going on, guys? So, you can't see me. Great lighting. Uh, it's Red Dog Night. Um, we saw our last video last week. Uh, we got a new dog, and we haven't hunted her yet. It's two days later. So, we're taking the Red Dogs tonight, um, Doc and Luna. If you haven't seen the new video, I'll put it here, maybe here. I don't know where it goes, but we'll put it up. Uh, check it out. And, yeah. Hunt some red dogs. But first, it's 11.06 p.m. I need coffee. Let's get coffee. All right, boys. Package secured. Um, they didn't have my usual. I usually just get house blend or dark roast. But they didn't have it. Um, they got Colombian, which is what that is. They got some special, special blend, whatever. But real quick, before I roll this intro, what do you guys think of the intro? Keep it, ditch it, too long, shorten it up. You know, we got another dog. Do I add another, the next dog? Or do we just ditch it completely and just get right into the videos? Leave a comment down below, let me know. And uh, I'll see y'all at the house. A little sneak peek of what's coming. We got the garage lined out, boys. Let's load some dogs. All right, guys, so we're at the drop. Uh, we got a feeder bucket up here. Um, you know, we're wanting to put her on a hot coon, so we're gonna run her with Doc. So Luna's here, gonna put a collar on her, and we'll uh, see how it goes. Come on. All right. Ready? Go. Go. You can see Doc here, I'm trying to get him out of this hole. He's all the way, I'm sitting on the side of a rock cliff. Give you a perspective there. Lou is running around striking. She's not really sure where it's at, but Doc is all the way in there. Doc, here. So I can get him out of there. I don't like this at all. Is in a hole, boys. Don't get any more than in a hole than that. All right, boys, I got him. He came out and I literally standing straight up down a rock cliff. I, I got him. No, no, you're on the lead, buddy. Calm down. No, gather. Yeah, All right, boys, I'll pick you up in a second. See if I can recut him off this hole and get him going on through the woods. Bear with Luke. We've shined it, we've shined it, we've shined it. Let's see nothing on the outside. Makes me wonder if there's a hole in the street, because we've trained in the street before. And couldn't find a coon. And this is the property where I grew up, so I know this woods pretty well, and I know for, sure, for a fact. We treat once a year this summer. So. That's not evidence enough for me to give it to him. Credit wise. Makes me wonder. I can't see nothing. But I'll cut him off his tree and send him on. Alright, guys, so I'm editing this video and um, I realized that we didn't film anymore after that. Uh, we recut Doc and Lou off that tree and um, let it come up with nothing. Doc hunted the whole holler out as far as I've got permission. We brought him back, took him home. But on that tree, 
Um, we treed, I don't have any footage from it because I wasn't filming back then, but, uh, but on that tree, we treed back th there back in the summer with Doc and my buddy's uh, blue tick. And on that same deck tree, everything, it makes me wonder either if that coon is slipping them, uh, just going up that tree, jumping over and going on, or if there's a hole in there we can't see. Uh, let me know what y'all think. We didn't punish him for that. We just said we just recut him and I mean, there's no, no for sure way of knowing. Um, it might be a coincidence. I don't know, but um, let me know what you guys think. Um, they all miss, you know. I'm not, I'm not saying he's perfect and they don't miss, but we'll, uh, we'll have to see if we, you know, tree there again. I, my mom and dad's farm, so I hunt there kind of often. Um, but my old, my old dog Tater used to have used to run there a lot, so he may have educated a lot of these coons. So I don't know, let me know what you think. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.